Now I will uh, disassemble the vacuum pump to uh, show uh, what I uh, had to modify to it uh, in order to turn it from a, one of those little uh, tire inflators, 12 volt ones, into uh, a vacuum pump. So, the first order of business was to flip the piston upside down. And it sounds easy, but it wasn't. The main reason I had to do this was uh, this, I guess it's a Teflon, um, uh, in effect, piston ring. But unfortunately, it's more like a cup. So, I had to uh, bore out the top of the piston and then file it square so the connecting rod's coming through the top of the piston now. And uh, then, since the piston pin was towards the bottom of the piston, I had to uh, add this uh, eighth inch aluminum uh, piston crown to it, especially since the bottom of the piston was open too, for the connecting rod space. So I uh, drilled and tapped uh, two uh, number four 40 uh, screws into it there, they got countersunk heads on them, and, and uh, it, it was pretty careful work. I didn't have a whole lot of edge distance to deal with there. Um, so I got it, got it working there, and uh, that took care of the piston. And the reason I had to do that was because this cup uh, is really only designed for uh, compression. When you flip it the other direction, the cup would open up under pressure and push the air out of the cylinder, and then as it goes back down, it would kind of fold back in on itself. So it would, so it's built for compression. And uh, I need it for a vacuum, so I flipped it upside down so that uh, it would be most effective when the piston's going down on suction. Now it's not so effective at pushing the air out of the cylinder, but uh, I thought that that wouldn't uh, wouldn't matter so much, and I guess the air could always leak through it out into the crankcase, just out into atmosphere. So, but that was one of my concerns that it wouldn't uh, expel the air out of the cylinder uh, good enough. But it, it seemed to work not bad in the end. So that's a piston. Cylinder's just stock. I didn't do anything to it. Uh, the head, well, that's a little different matter. Didn't do anything on the inside, but uh, on the discharge side there, I had I made this uh, one eighth inch thick steel plate, and uh, had to cut a slot out of it there. I drilled a hole the size of that, and then cut this cut a slot so that it fit against the top of this. And this is the uh, original exhaust uh, port area there and then here's the intake uh, valve so to connect a uh, pipe to it for uh, intake to connect to my uh, vacuum chamber I uh, drilled and tapped a uh, eighth inch um, pipe thread in there and made it line up with the the intake uh, port there as best I could and that seemed to work okay. Then drilled the three holes in it to line up with the crankcase uh, attaching bolts there. So it was a little bit challenging, but um, it, it worked out. The other thing I did was uh, grind a notch in the, the pipe so that it lines up better with the, uh, the valve there because there, there isn't really much clearance. The pipe almost closes it right off. So. Uh, that uh, all worked out okay in the end there. I also had to be careful that my uh, uh, piston crown attachment screws didn't hit the cylinder head. Initially they did, so I had to, uh, I just filed the heads down slightly. And the other thing I did, I loctited them in and I uh, silicone sealed between the piston crown and the original piston so that it couldn't have a uh, vacuum leak there. So. JB welded uh, all the way around this because again uh, vacuum leaks and the top of this original head was kind of hollow so I filled that in with JB weld just so again there couldn't be any vacuum leaks into that area so it was quite a uh, quite a little project actually uh, so I'm, I'm glad that it worked out in the end uh, the amount of time I uh, spent on it so anyway so uh, yeah, so as you can see in the next video when I run it, it uh, does indeed uh, work, uh, work as a vacuum pump. 
So I got the vacuum pump hooked up to a vacuum gauge here. We'll fire her up and see what kind of vacuum we get. Like about 18 inches of mercury. So I was reading about 18 inches of mercury there, so I guess all in all that's not too bad. That's uh, better than what it did before I made all the changes to it. Uh, so, in case you missed uh, the first video where I was talking about, about building a vacuum pump, uh, the reason I did it was uh, I'm trying to make a uh, basically Airfix 600 scale uh, dreadnought, and uh, so I needed to mold turrets. And so, when I uh, mixed the silicone up the first time, I didn't um, vacuum the bubbles out of it, and then uh, when I did, I, I uh, resulted in a mold like this just full of bubbles anyways and so it made this funky gun turret with like dents in the roof there it looks like it took some major shell fire but anyway so then I converted my uh, air compressor over to a vacuum pump by feeding a hose into the inlet of it and I was able to vacuum degas the molds as you can see there's no bubbles in these made a second one here um, so that did indeed work but it wasn't very convenient having to mess around with my big air compressor all the time, so that's why I wanted to build uh, that uh, small 12 volt one just to uh, uh, drop the pressure in the vacuum chamber when I have the. Uh, I don't really have to put the mold in, I just put the. mix the, the silicone and put the container uh, of it in there and degas it, then pour it into the, the mold to make this. And I do actually vacuum the mold a second time, but. But anyway, uh, so you can see some of the results here. I got uh, quite this little herd of uh, gun turrets there for the, the dreadnought. And uh, then I've gone ahead and made the Airfix Bismarck gun turrets. Uh, two on the left there, they're uh, pretty much uh, A1. Uh, the two on the right had some uh, air bubble problems on the, um, the what are they, they're... Um, gun sights basically the range finders on the turret there's a big bubble in there and this one's partially missing but I could uh, fix that with the uh, JB weld but so what I had to do was pour a little bit into the mold and then I take a uh, uh, toothpick and push it down in tip the mold like this to get that the low spot and then tip back the other way. I know you think you don't you undo one when you do the other, but it seems to work just to get the air out. Then continue to fill the mold right up, and uh, it uh, results in good uh, good turrets there. So I have to cut the bottom off, sand them down, flush all that. But so you end up with the um, Airfix 600 scale Bismarck turret in the end. Same thing with these ones. They're basically Iron Duke turrets. So, it takes time, but, you know, COVID's going on, and it's 20 below outside, so a person has to occupy their time somehow, so building little projects like this vacuum pump here. I know I got better things to do, but, like I say, you gotta got to keep yourself busy sometime uh, during this uh, unusual time we're going through, so, anyway, everybody... Uh, have a good one and uh, find something to keep busy at.